sacred music takes many forms, but the pipe organ has been at the heart of the Catholic liturgy for hundreds of years. At St. Dominic's, the mighty Jesse Woodbury and Company pipe organ inspired parishioners and visitors for nearly a century. Its voice first echoed through the sanctuary in 1898, made it through the great earthquake and fire of 1906, one of only a handful that survived, played on through the Great Depression, two world wars, 18 U.S. presidents, and nine different popes. And then one day in 1996, it gasped for air and fell silent. organ started making sounds on its own. We call it ciphering. It, it made a life of its own and in the middle of a mass it would start to make peculiar sounds which you couldn't stop. So it had to be put to rest for perhaps a few years until we can rebuild it. Breathing new life into the organ at St. Dominic's is both time-consuming and expensive. 5,400 individual pipes, some as small as a pencil, others as long as a semi all in need of repair by hand. But the work will be invisible to most of the faithful at St. Dominic's. Right now we are about 60 feet up above the floor of the church. You can see all around me these metal and wooden organ pipes, most of which were kept from the organ built in 1898. And they were put into these chambers in 1928. And they've been here ever since. I'm going to show you a few of the pipes. First of all, a wooden pipe. It's a special one. It has a mouth each side, a bit like a recorder, and the wind goes in from here. Great sound, which will fill this building. I'm going to now switch it for a metal pipe. And here again, this pipe is made of a mixture of tin and lead. Once again, there's the mouth where the sound is created. There's the hole where the air goes in and the air waves are formed in this tube and they vibrate and resonate and make that beautiful tone. I'm going to pick out one of the tiniest ones to show you. Here we are. This little organ pipe here, the effective length is from my forefinger to my thumb. That's about an inch and a quarter. The rest of it is just support. And there's the little mouth where the sound was made. It's tiny. There's where the air goes in, and I'll play it to you. It makes such a small noise, it would bring dogs out to bark. But this whole pipe is damaged through years and years of use and tuning and a little bit of abuse where it's been moved from building to building, and it's in need of restoration. And that's what this project is about. And it's worth it. The fully refurbished organ will play for at least another century when it's done far outliving any new digital church organ bought to replace it. When the organ is rebuilt, we hope to make it in the finest instrument in the city. There are very few fine instruments in San Francisco, especially in the Catholic churches. So we hope to have a beacon for liturgical arts here in many ways, including the organ and the choirs. There are two main reasons for investing in the renovation of the Woodbury organ at St. Dominic's. The first, is its historical significance. We've only recently found what the old organ looked like. It was designed in 1898, and then after the 06 earthquake, a partially new instrument was built, but using the same design of stops as before. And we found that from the original dedication brochure, which we came across recently. The second reason for the renovation has more to do with spirit than history. An organ can speak in a whisper, or it can exalt in a thunderous voice. During our liturgies, we aim to stimulate the senses in many ways. Light and color, the sense of smell through incense, sound through spoken word. Which will be given up for you. And music. And the organ can create many atmospheres. Organs are marvelous gifts because they help us and magnify for us the deepest joys of our hearts. 
so that indeed it enlists forth and erupts into great prayer. It is simply a masterpiece. This is one of the oldest pipe organs in California, certainly in San Francisco. And what it will do for this church is put fresh life into the worship and also into the other life, the concert life and the atmosphere of the building for people who just come to visit.